and welcome to today's webcast. I'm Katie Love. A photography exhibit and a series of lectures is open in the university's library atrium. The exhibit is commemorating women's roles in the Mexican Revolution. Spanish instructor Maria Zaldondo says these women played an important role by cooking for soldiers, tending to wounds, and sometimes taking arms themselves. The first presentation is September 14th and is free and open to the public. The 2010 cross-country season starts Saturday, September 11th at the UT Arlington. The women's two-mile race is set for 8 a.m., while the men's four-mile race is directly after. Sean Widget, the distant coach, says he wants to continue to improve and compete hard. Fans who can't attend the race in Arlington can follow it by logging on to www.gofrogs.com where results, photos, and a full recap will be posted following the conclusion of the men's race. The equestrian team is now training at October Hills Farm. The team searched for a new practice facility for the past four years before they picked this one. Chelsea Sample, junior business major, says the new facility offers a lot more space for the horses. Unlike the last location, there is four barns, 14 pastures, and all the TCO and horses have their own stalls. The baseball team starts fall practice Friday, September 10th. Expectations are high for the 2011 season after the 2010 squad advanced to the first ever College World Series and came within a game of the CWS Championship Series. The Frogs are welcoming back their entire starting rotation, seven starters in the field, and 11 newcomers to the team. The fall practice schedule ends October 23rd. The TCU volleyball team will hit the road for their third tournament of the season as they will take part in the Rutgers Invitational. The Horn Frogs will square off against Princeton on Friday, September 10th, before playing George Mason on Rutgers on Saturday. Chancellor Victor Boschini says he thinks the success of the athletic teams are influencing the campus application process. Strong athletic programs is on some students' list of criteria when choosing a college. Ray Brown, Dean of Admissions, says applications to TCU have more than doubled since 2011 and increased by over 2,100 since last year. And athletic director Chris Del Conte says he gets 50 to 100 emails from student athletes around the country that says, please pass this on to your coach. I want to go to TCU. Yeah. That's all for now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Katie Love.